Hey, starting at Mushroom Farm. Uh, here we are. I don't really know what's back there. This is a lot of stuff. It's just a ton of land that Randy got that, I mean, so one of his neighbors sold him because it's full of basically nothing right now. So it's got the Mushroom Farm going on. On um, this tube that you see, this is a hose, but it's actually just running all the way from one of those springs that I was talking about in the other video. So it runs all the way from up there. Uh, Wow, the fence is so intimidating because I can hear it, like, sizzling. So, I'm gonna go over it here, because it seems pretty well. Hoo-wee. I mean, you don't want to get zapped in the crotch, because that's pretty bad. So Randy and I walked all the way up there, all the way through the whole perimeter of the fence to check it. Cause it gets bust when the deer try and like run through it and stuff. So that was kind of fun. It was weird. It's just like everything that we do kind of have to do. So it's really interesting to see how much stuff needs to be done on a farm. So here's a junk pile. Uh, I'm gonna walk up this way so I can snap some good pictures. Here's a junk pile. Oh shit, I didn't take any photos of mushrooms, whatever. Um, this is just random metal trash. Most of it's metal anyway. Randy has a trailer on his property that someone's renting. And they just dump random stuff, but it's supposed to be all metal. Once he gets like 1,200 pounds, he's gonna bring it to some recycling guy who's gonna pay him money for it. Now these little things right up here, this is going to be two cherry trees one day. These aren't the most picturesque ones, but I'll try and grab them anyway. Uh, and so basically, in the beginning, I walked down a hill that's kind of over that lip. And now I'm coming back up the same hill, but on the other side. So yeah, the cherry tree. These guys, these guys are going to be cherry trees. Hooey! Nature makes good composition, I've realized. Oh, there's a tree in the background that kind of screws with that one. But, so all these are cherry trees. This is the other big patch of vineyard. So, this was kind of to my right when I was walking down in the beginning. So all this... It's going to be grapes one day, and it's going to make Randy quite a bit of money. Uh, much more profitable than just like straight produce. So grab one of these. And then one that kind of gets a sense of the whole thing. So, dead ahead. You know, as I was walking up, there's all this on the side, but... It starts to open up here. And you get... Vegetables! I don't know if you can see them in the video. But yeah, there's some green things out there. Those are veggies. I just harvested some kale from there. Uh, it's surprising how tenacious stuff is, because like st most things aren't really growing right now. But some of the Asian greens and the kale and stuff are still alive. So this is a big old field. Um, and there's another one up there that you can kind of see like towards that shack. The shack was an old barn, um, but it was like pretty beat up when Randy got here. So, these are fields of things. Over here, we got bok choy. And then this is a row of stuff called tatsoi, which is a, another Asian herb, or another Asian green. And then right here, we got good old kale. This is Siberian kale. And then the red stuff is red Russian. Siberian kale is also called black Russian. So I just harvested these plants that I'm looking at right now. They were delicious. I treat them very nicely. I give them compliments. I tell them how good they look. And then I give them little kisses. Mwah. Kisses for the plants. Um, up here, we have arugula. It's really bitter because it survived a frost, which it... 
I think it's supposed to, but it makes it taste funny when it does. It's like really peppery, but then it turns really bitter. So down there is some more regular. Mm. So now you can look out kind of the whole vineyard, which is rather gorgeous. So there's more of the vineyard. And here's another row of veggies. All this is probably going to get plowed. It's probably on the three field rotation, so two of them are active and one of them lies fallow, which is cool. So, here we got cabbages. Randy just grabbed some of these. And I'm going to grab a photo of one of them so I can cut the cabbage out of there. But this one's got its cabbage still. They're very pretty. These are some purple cabbage. See, Randy took that one. Now, I probably shouldn't walk all over the soil, but I kind of have to. Just don't really give a shit. Yeah, you can see that this stuff's real red. All the soil around here is. Um, these are collard greens. You know, good old-fashioned collard greens. So this is like a southern staple. Serve it up with lots of butter and delicious things. Boop! And, uh, there's some mustard greens somewhere. I think they might have been back in the other field. Now this is the trailer of the guy who uh, rents from Randy. So he lives there. There's a vineyard. There's that dude's car. Uh, as we come up here, if, ooh, dinosaur kale. My favorite kind, maybe, just because of its name. I'm gonna get some in the sun. Um, but yeah, this is a row of dino kale, which is extremely tenacious. It survives such cold temperatures. And you can see that its leaves are all wrinkly because they're like super awesome. They look like really prehistoric. So, this is kind of a little road where I drove stick shift basically the first time. Over there's the trailer. That's their house, which is like kind of where I started, you know. Um, and here's that shack. So I'm going to bring you over to the trailer and we can just look at the big field. It doesn't have anything in it, really. It's not true. It doesn't have a lot of stuff in it and not enough of it's visible for me to like tell you lots about it. So, what you're seeing over there is the tractor, which I drove in reverse for a little, and forwards just a little, but I really don't understand how to do it. Um, this is the tractor. Haha, <laughs> tractor trailer. Sorry, I thought that was funny. Um, hey Jane! Look who it is! Little Mary Jane! Yeah Jane? Meow! Come on, let's go for a walk. She is a pretty little thing. Let me give you love. Oh yeah, love. Love for Jane. I love you, Mary Jane. Come on. So basically back here behind the trailer is a big ass field. Like a really big field. It's like probably like three acres on its own. And back there is where we're going to grow a ton of stuff. And provided it's dry for the next few days, and I learn how to drive the tractor, actually, um, I will be plowing and tearing up with the ripper blade and then uh, tilling those fields. So I'll go back there in a sec. But this was our project today. We put all the siding. So see all this underpinning? It's the stuff at the bottom. We uh, It got blown out by like a windstorm. This was kind of shitty and Randy had to go and do repairs under there anyway. So he's crawling under there. But now that all that's done, we put all of it back on, which was fun. Uh, here's some trailers. 